please welcome Roy Meyer. Well, hey, everybody, you can hear me okay? And so I'm not used to standing behind a podium, so if I walk off the side of the stage, I'll need somebody to, to come up here and help. So really excited. I want to thank Joan for, for having me out here, and Wayne, and the, the other panel members, and uh, you guys allowing me to take a little bit of your time. We could talk about, you know, mindset and websites. And, and by the way, how many here have a website? Go ahead and put your hands up. So about half. That's usually more than, than what I hear. We could talk about the importance of that, why you need to have a unique one, how you can get a tremendous amount of work through that. One thing I learned right out of the gate when I was looking to rebuild my business again is I needed to become the CEO of my business. And then when I say CEO, I'm not talking about the chief everything officer. You know, that's, that's what I had been for a very, very long time. I'm talking, I needed to look at my business through the eyes of a CEO. I needed to look at my processes, look at my systems, look at the way I was running my business. I knew that I wanted to have the most efficient business possible. And so we started documenting every single process in our business. You know, what's the process or the procedure we go through when we get an order? We have it all fully documented. What's the process procedure when we meet a real estate agent? We have everything fully documented. I wanted to become an influencer. And I could almost guarantee you, I could go almost anywhere in the country and build out pretty much anywhere in the country a six-figure business in less than six months. Anybody here doing their own uh, plumbing? Okay, you're, you're, you're using other people, right? You're outsourcing it, you know? And so the reason I bring this up, the reason I would love for you guys to look at your business as a CEO, we spend way too much time doing minimum wage activities in our business. What got you here probably won't get you where you wanna be. So what are the one things, or the one or two things you can do in your business to really make a difference? What are the things you can start focusing on? Just pick one or two things as a takeaway on how you can make a change in your business. It's possible to, to do all the things you always dreamt of by doing a little bit of work on your business, diversifying, and, and you really can change, you know, really your outlook on the future as well. So that's it for now, Wayne. I think I'm out of town. Thank you.